Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Steel Division with the Fate of Finland DLC. Today we are playing as the second Finnish division that's been added. There's a total of three new Axis divisions. We'll perhaps look at the third one, which is kind of a cool mix between a German and a Finnish battle group. Today we are playing as the Infantry Division with a rating of C, which by the way means that it's on the lower end of the... Uh, I guess goodness scale, you got A, obviously the best, B, medium, C, meh, and then C is sort of a, a large number, because I feel like there's some C decks that are bad, and there's some C decks that are just memes, like some of the Polish divisions. With that being said, we're playing as the finish, and um, I know there's a little thing here, I probably put a little thing over it for this video, because YouTube hasn't caught up to that yet, but you know, you never want to be too sure, um, and also... People were asking why I wasn't aware that the Finnish S-word, which by the way is a little symbol the Germans use in their flags and all their vehicles, I know it's different from the Finnish one, but YouTube might not recognize that difference. So my apologies for anyone that was confused. That being said, let's get into the battle. I've actually been really, really enjoying playing Steel Division, and, and I'm by far not a great player. Listen, I'm playing this against AI because I would probably get stomped in three seconds by an actual player. I feel like Civil Division though, just like Men of War, is still a really, really cool game. And there's something about this game that I love, just like zooming in, getting nitty gritty. It's always hard to zoom in a lot when you're doing the live commentary like right now, because there's so much going on and I really don't want to make any massive blunders. Uh, but at the same time, I know it's very boring to just see like some blue or green or in this case enemy red uh, icons running around in a map. So in this video, we'll very much attempt to be a little bit more uh, on point with the zoom-ins. Also, we're going to move our infantry forward here. I didn't move them as forward as much as I wanted to. So we'll move those forward and hopefully uh, get into the town before the enemies do. We do have enemy vehicles approaching. We uh, only have one unit of tanks, which just happened to be T-26 that we captured uh, at the very beginning of the Winter War. Obviously, this is a continuation war, so this is not the Winter War. But, you know, we, we have to make do with what we got, which isn't a lot, I'll be honest with you. In the meantime, put this down right here. Machine gun needs to push up to the road. And the commander unit can just push up to here. And we are going to be initially coming into some light contact here. I assume we do have a sniper set up over here. And actually, we do need some artillery. I don't know. It does have a mortar. Okay, we can't call it in yet. However, we're dealing with a Studebaker truck. Took those down pretty fast. And, uh,. I realized that the Gornostrelki, someone answered my question yesterday, Gornostrelki are mountain troops, and then the enemy also had uh, marines, which I believe were the Morskaya. So uh, definitely want to take a look. I believe they're called the 126. They were added in this Fate of Finland DLC, and I'm very interested in, in taking a look at the Morskaya and um, Gornostrelki units as well, because they do look pretty damn cool. We have some support of some Boita Panzer T-34s on the left side, and man, does it look cool zooming on this game. I just can't get over that. This is, to me, is insane. Like, I just imagine, like, Men of War Assault Squad 2 basically takes place on this part of the map, and then you got this entire <laughs> extra portion of the map. Like, Men of War Assault Squad 2 takes place in a very small uh, part of this map, if that makes sense. We're coming up against the KV-1E. However, we do have a 45 millimeter anti-tank gun, Taking shots at it. Looks like the driver's been knocked out. Doing some damage. Mostly not really... It's bouncing shells. Obviously, it's only 45 mil. Oh, this... Ba oh, move, 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 move. Okay, we just got out in time. That would have been a really, uh, really bad start. We need another AT gun. We definitely need some more. Let's turn this to efficient shot for right now. And let's keep you on the damn road, boy. Okay, level 3 veterancy. That's not bad. We just need to get some more infantry on the tree line. And we definitely need to get some of these anti-tank rifle soldiers as well. Same goes here for this town. Spread out the infantry in the town that we have. And figure out a good position for the machine gun. It's probably in this building right here. With the leader hopefully covering both sides. Sniper unit. Actually, we do need more recon. Uh, we'll get a recon squad or two in here. When they arrive, we can move some of these units up. 
Currently, we are dealing with Gavardia, which are going to be a little bit dangerous to deal with. Oh, machine gunners. God, those guys are going to be blasted. We don't have any line of sight on these guys. Move it around a little bit. This is not going to go very well. We need artillery. I believe we get artillery. Oh, we can get some air. Don't I have air? I do have chikas. Let's see how this. How, let's see how good this does. Hopefully, it does anything. If not, we're going to be in trouble here. We do need artillery, so let's get a 120 millimeter mortar. Kivadi, this. Oh, that machine gun just went totally not nowhere. Okay. Efficient shot. I think it's going to be the most effective way of dealing with some of these enemy uh, units over here. Shaika. Ooh, KV-1 down. Now, this is not necessarily what they're made to do. I think they're SAP rockets, but we pin down the Gavardi squad, allowing our Kivari to our under attack of not just the Gavardi, also a sniper unit, to just get out of dodge in time. And these Chaika is basically saving the day here. Now, our Yakari have Panzer Fausts. They can't take down these units over here, I'm pretty sure, uh, with more or less impunity. Let's pull this machine gun back. And let's see the Yakari. Come on, why are you not firing your launcher? It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Why aren't you firing? Aligning. Fire your Panzerfaust. There we go. Took out their leader. That was... Oh, no, their recon. Not that leader. Unless Vetka is, is not... Komoroti is a leader. Oh, we that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, they're about to get they're about to run down. Fire your rockets all we got. Align the rocket. Fire it. God damn it. You're about to get flamethrowered. They got it. They got it. But they're an honorable sacrifice for Finland. They were not going to get away there. That was uh, very brutal. I believe I believe we did lose two of our units here. This is a little bit of a uh, bad play. Artillery has arrived, and artillery is going to have to start blasting these guys. We don't have enough anti-tank to deal with this situation over here. Uh, okay, I lost these two. That's really annoying. I lost the two good anti-tanks that I had. We have a Valentine approaching on the road, but these two are both triple vets. Triple veteran anti-tank guns. I set them to efficient shot, which means they're going to wait for an efficient hit. I'm not sure what the penetration chance needs to be before them to take a shot, but 1% doesn't seem very high, so I'm glad they're not opening fire at the moment. We need to figure out what's going on over here because we are not in a good position. Our right flank is just collapsing, and there's not much we can do until phase B where we get 75 millimeter anti-tank guns. Right now, we are just sort of, uh, well, left to the enemy and whatever they want to do to us, which isn't really going to help out. We need to get these Chaikas up. The Chaikas will probably help us push. Oh, Kev OS. Get them. Sturmoviki. Oh, let's get up out of fucking cover here. Penetration chance of 3% is just way too low, so we have to hold our, uh, our shot still. Okay, pulling this AA back. We need infantry in this right forest. If we get infantry in the forest over here, we can defend. We just need the infantry to actually come in here. Okay, we lost that BA-11. We're getting our Lahitoriurna, uh, which means they have the anti-tank rifles. The Kev OS here is being massacred. Okay, we have Chaikas operational. They're going to have to take down these KV-1s, which hopefully will work for us. Penetration of just 10% is absolutely nothing still. We need our infantry up here. We need a, re a leader unit up here to make sure our guys don't retreat. Chaikas are incoming. Oh, no eyes. There's anti-air shooting at us right here. The rockets are out. And we knocked the crew out of the KV-1, but it's not doing very much for us. There's an anti-air unit right here, which we could take down. We do have a Haftholadung. Haftholadung. I'm not sure how to pronounce that still. No, 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 no. Don't worry about the sniper right now. Where's his anti-air unit? It's right here. Take it down. Take it down. Take. Oh, that's... Okay. Now, run, 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 run. All right. Well, that was very costly. Like... We lost a lot of men in that unit, but it was sort of worth just because we had to take out the anti-air unit. We are two minutes from phase uh, B. Oh, they're destroying our reinforcements on the road. That's very annoying. Okay, we just lost a bunch of dudes that we can't get back because the reinforcements got cut down on the road. That really, really sucks. We're going to have our Latiriurna. I can't pronounce that, but they're... Oh! Shooter knocked out, and now they're in a perfect... I mean, 21% penetration isn't very good. Let's turn, take them off efficient shot and just fuck this thing up. They're th triple vet. They gotta do something to this thing. At the very least, we make it retreat. That's all we can do. There we go. Okay, hold fire, hold fire. There's a sniper unit engaging us currently, as you can see. See if we can engage the sniper with our mortar and teach them what's what. Oh, these better not be flamethrowers. Okay, they are not. TNT says hello. 
Don't throw the TNT, actually. Hope fire the TNT. That would just be a waste of your TNT. And we cleared out this area. We need to get a CC in here because, I mean, that's the only really thing we can do here at this point is to just call in the trucks and deploy them over here because they have the road covered. And, well, we can't do much about the road at the moment. So we have taken down their Valentine. Let's switch back to efficient shot. I'm not sure what the button for efficient shot is, but it's, there's no button for it. I know this is Z, but okay. Let's cr slowly crawl up. In the meantime, here on the left, we have uh, the area under control, very much so. Let's put these recon out to the edge. So we have a big bubble now formed on the right side. We do have 30 seconds of phase B. Phase B will give us access to... I. We have bombs and rockets, or just rockets. We should have bigger artillery, better anti-tank, better anti-air. And here is not going to save us right now, but anything that we can get in here would be nice. We just are running out of men. KV-1, pull back. The Lati is never going to suppress that. Not a KV-1 up anyway. It's never going to happen. Recon. Uh, okay, I need to get this truck over here. Phase B, there we go. Awesome. Get the recon and the PE-2. Recon, fly over, and then we'll hit whatever like tanks they got over here. We need to take out this sniper team. I don't care how we do it. Okay. We're going to use the recon plane to get eyes on their tanks. We'll use the Chaikas to obliterate them. No eyes on anything over here. Are you kidding? Well, we use the, we use the PE-2's rockets. Nice. That snipers are down. Let's get out. Let's get out. Okay. Let's get out. We do have decent anti-air available to us right now, which is good. We need to push our infantry into the forest over here. And uh, here comes the Yak-9. It's going to say hello to my 20mm. I believe this is a double barrel. It's a single barrel, 20mm. But it should get destroyed between the Ilu Ace and our two anti-airs. I'll even send my Chaika after it with the... Uh, what does it have? Just like four Shikas machine guns, right? Come on, take it down, take it down. Come on, Ilu, catch him, boy. Oh, tank spotted. Hey, there we go. We destroyed the Yak-9. That's awesome news. And now we can uh, make our way sort of... Eh, I'm not sure we can even make our way yet because I'm honestly a little bit afraid. Let's deploy here and here and move these guys up without actually... Did we take out an enemy vehicle there? I'm not sure. We did capture... We're holding the area still. We found two machine guns over here. Okay, well, let's send the recon plane out again. Didn't really do much for us last time. We're a little bit stuck over here, as you can see. Phase B, we do have access to larger artillery, so let's call that in and then have to drive all the way, their normal way around. KV-1E, there's KV-1s are just holding us down, locking us into position. We can't really do much about them right now. We'll call in the Chaika, and the Chaika should take out... Ooh, hello. That's not doing anything, boy. Oh, that's not doing anything. That's... Shooter knocked out. Chaika, come on. Take it down. Oh, it's barely got it. What's the range on the sh on the Faust? I actually don't know. Push it forward. Push it forward. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Retreat. Okay, take down, take it down, take it down. We got it, we got it. We got the tank. Get the hell out, Recon. All right. We spotted what we had to spot. We are losing this very fast. Our team is just... There's not much we can do uh, on this side. Not right now, anyway. We just need more tanks to deal... Or no more air to deal with their tanks. If the air is, only th if the, air is the only thing we can do... Actually, I do have anti-tank. Uh, 90 mil. 75 mil. Here we go. Alright, P2. We'll get back to you in a second. Mortar. We need some ammo, and we need to figure out a way to get this flank secure, because right now we're just getting demolished. A P2, you're flying very far away, sir. How... Oh, oh, oh this is bad. Alright, let's take out this tank right here. We can take this out between these two teams. Thing is, we have no eyes on the KV-1 that was back there. A little bit frustrating. Let's randomly guess that it was still there. Oh, those were not effective at all. We had no eyes on this guy. Use the Panzerfaust. 
Need some TNT. What are we doing, buddy? TNT! You're within range! Aim! Oh, it's like Men of War, but you can't die or control. That's a good TNT. I don't know if we got it. It doesn't look like it did any... It, it's not down. It's not down. Okay, now we are in a... We're in big trouble. Mainly because we have nothing to deal with their KV-1s with other than just, you know, our infantry and our air support, which isn't really going to be worth. We need to push on the left side and hope that we can't get demolished. We're going to just send a bunch of cheap infantry onto this left side and hope that it works out. We need the Chaika to be ready, basically, to engage anything that pops up. And there's no tanks that we can engage. There's a bunch of tanks over on the left side. I don't even know what the hell they're doing over here. Let's hit this. Uh, let's hit this Valentine recon. Let's see how this one works out for us. Oh, this that tank just got hidden. That tank just got hidden. I think those were good hits. I don't see a kill shot. A uh, potential kill shot, maybe. I'm not sure if that was a hit or not. Okay, our artillery is sitting back here doing nothing. We are going to be pushing on this left side. It might be way too late. Pushing down into the ridge. We just need to get our men into this area here. What's happening over here? Where are you, how are you killing us? We're just a machine gun tank. I don't know what he was singing, but he was excited. All right, take it down. Let's go. Hafuladung. Okay, there goes that one. T26 got destroyed down here, it looks like. That's okay, we have a lot of enemy equipment yeah. down here, and we've just lost this middle point, and our team is not doing very good. Chaikas, if we can support our team here on the left, that's all we have to do. It's a team effort, you know, I'm trying to support my buddies. Come on. Nice! Nice! They took two of them down. That's actually really fantastic. That's kind of what we needed there. Our... <laughs> T-26 finally took that guy down. That took a little bit of time. Sturmoviki and Marilatoyurna are going to deal with each other. They're going to be... I guess they have a DP machine, which we don't have. So we need to send up our, other, our own DP team and have hopefully enough units there. Now we're going to just send this battle blob of death the way of this point. Because we need points back. We need flags back. I don't think we can get a flag on the right side anytime soon. Um, but, man... We need to get our flags back. They say Tegan's taking a very long time to get anywhere. Um, let's see. We have two sissy we could call in. We'll call them in back here. Recon-wise, I don't think we have anything that can really... Oh, artillery is starting to hit us now. But where from? Um, it's over here somewhere, but where? Where did you shoot us from? I don't see it. It's, there's a lot of artillery coming this way, and the AI knows exactly where I am, as you can, as you can see. It's the one thing I said. I, artillery in this game is on the AI side is really broken. Oh my lord! It's a whole other company down here. It's a KV-85, which we have nothing to deal with. Our infantry is just running down the ridge. There is a lot of Sturmoviki, Gavardia, Lahito Yurni. Come on, engage the Kazaki. Take them down before they get too close to the PPSHs. That is a lot of firepower going on over here. Luckily, all these squads have a DP, so we have like 9 or 10 DP machine guns. And shot, it's a Sherman tank. We are not going to run into range of this thing. Not, this is not, no way. All right, we got to just uh, charge forward. Actually, stay on this side of the tree line here and hope that they get close enough to us. Our Rangaistus are starting to get hit by artillery. Come on. Make them retreat and forward. All right, good. Tanks, nothing I can see. That's a contact right here, though. There's a tank coming in. Okay. I'm not sure how we're going to put this or pull this off, but we're going to have to try and do something. Our P2 is coming in to take out this uh, anti-aircraft gun. It's a twin 37, I'm pretty sure. Hoping our PE flies. No, oh, it's way too much flak. Way too much flak. Our Chike isn't even going to get anything done that way. He's going to get killed right now. Surprised. Oh, maybe not because the P2 took most of the fire. Oh, damn. It actually got shot down. Lost a 45 mil and my Chaika barely survives. Took an enemy Razvetka down. On the left side, we have pushed into the forest. And we're going to just push forward right now. There's nothing that we can't do. 
if we all shoot that one thing together. Oh, these are like anti-aircraft guns. Take a the Dushka. That's a lot of fire. Okay, Dushka's down. I need artillery, mortar, 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 mortar. Left side. We do not have any bombers available to us. We're pushing in here for glory. Oh, wow, that's a lot of guys. This, a lot of machine gun fire. Look, we're taking these guys down. Every second, they lose one or two guys. I mean, we're going to run out of machine gun ammo, but by the time we do, we, we must capture some equipment or some, uh, some stuff here in the area. ZSU is just running into our area. Pull back one. T26 has to push up. We've lost a lot of stuff here in the middle, I just realized. All right, we're using... We're shooting open top at it. Come on. Oh, that's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Okay, we took it down. We took the crew down. Mortars... Our mortars are hitting theirs. We're being hit by more anti-aircraft guns. On the right side, they have totally pushed us out of the area. They have machine guns, KV-85s that we have no way of rebutting. Uh, we just got totally annihilated by their initial wave of tanks, and there was not much we could do about that, I don't think. Chaika, Tika Drozvetka, at least we'll do something. Okay, never mind. Oh, we did fire some of our rockets off. Didn't really do them anything. We're in phase C. We have our uh, bombers available to us right now. Bombers are not going to save us here. There is a lot of infantry coming our way. We are gaining a little bit of flags. We just need to capture one or two more. I don't know if it's going to be possible, though. Okay, IS-1 Komroti. That would be a perfect kill. Where is a flag that we could easily capture back besides our own? I don't think there is one. We're like, we're just two flags behind. J-88 dropping bombs. We are... Come on, IS-2 Komroti. IS-1 Komroti. Oh, bastard. Survived it. See if we can bomb this Komroti with some heavy bombs and hopefully take that down. Any support I can give my team. We've actually captured a flag. Oh, I can't believe it. This is the her heroes of Finland. Like, there's not much left of them, but man, are they a bunch of heroes. They're just destroying everything back here. We can probably push this some more. We need to have infantry in this town ASAP. And we need to have uh, infantry cover over here. Our J88 is just doing really stupid stuff. It's going to get shot down. That's really disappointing. Uh, I just decided to commit Sudoku, basically. At 07 to the J88. We are six flags behind. We are about to lose this flag into town. Valentines are pushing us hard. And this is not, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. We lost the anti-tank gun that we had. Oh, man. Jakari here are surrounded. We're trying to get a Chaika to support us. We have a minute left on this. This isn't going to go very well. Alright, we took down one of their vehicles. Chaika takes out another one. We got some space back. We've linked up with our Jakari again. Oh, I thought this was an important vehicle. This is a supply vehicle that they just lost their lives for nothing. Um, as you can see, obviously, I did turn the AI up to hard because I wanted to have a little bit more of a challenge. But the um, the KVs are just too strong over this deck. The only thing that could take them down would have been these bazooka carrying guys, but I didn't get them till phase C. I didn't get the pack 75s until phase B. But even then, their infantry, though it might wasn't superior, uh, the fact that I couldn't do anything to their tanks other than have to get really, really close to them really cost me there and um i think this division is definitely one that i'm not calling bad it's just because i'm bad at the game um but i guess i definitely wasn't really sure what to do with these guys and i think it showed and especially against heavier tanks not even is's but uh mostly the um the heavier tank i mean heavier than a, than a than a t26 that's what i have uh it was uh, interesting interesting battle i'll definitely come back to some more steel division uh, it's more of a showcase of the groups in this case we got absolutely hammered i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's see you guys in the next one cheers